Welcome to this day six of the our online global self awakening retreat. The truth of who you are. So let's take a couple of moments, a few moments to center ourselves and just dive back inwards. And one of the easiest ways of meditating and diving inwards is simply to trace back your thoughts to their origin. Where do your thoughts come from? We're always thinking about how to manipulate our thoughts so we're, pos we're thinking positively or um, it's about feeling good, quieting the mind, meditation, But we never really investigate to see where do the thoughts come from? Where do they originate? So if you trace your thoughts back into the source, let's see what happens. Let's just do it for a moment. Simply by observing trace back your thoughts it's not a mental ex exercise <clears throat> it's simply observing from a space from a place of observation witnessing It's like you see a stream. Water is running down the stream and you decide to walk up the stream to see where it comes from. You're not trying to change the course of the stream. You're not judging the course of it. You're not trying to block its flow of water, you're simply tracing the stream to its source. Where is it coming from? Where does it originate? It must be coming from somewhere. So you trace back your thoughts. And then as you trace your thoughts back to their origin, something very interesting happened. If you simply just hang in there, be patient, have a few deep breaths, and then suddenly you discover that it's very quiet. You arrive at an empty place. You come to silence.
It gets very, very quiet. You dive back into your original state, space. You enter into the Hall of Truth. You enter into nothingness. And it's quiet. Now you can gently come back. See, it wasn't very difficult. It's not difficult because it's not a mental activity. It's not difficult because it's not an exercise. It's not something you do. We didn't do anything. It wasn't a doing. There is a big difference between when you're doing things or when you're simply aware of things happening. There's a big difference. And if you are to enter into a higher level of consciousness, you have to understand the difference. It's very important for you to understand this part. It makes a world of difference in your spiritual involvement. And that's where you separate yourself from the hurt. You separate yourself from majority of spiritual seekers and you enter into a deep space. Because majority of spiritual seekers they think they need to do something. But sometimes I give you exercises to do something, but that's not the goal. That's simply a path. The difference between doing something and simply being aware being aware doesn't require any kind of energy. Being aware comes from being here. So it's a natural space that is already within yourself. You simply become focused on it. Your attention comes to this part of that I am, but I am not this, I am not that, 